Shaquille O'Neal is famous for many things, being a near giant at 7 foot 1, being notoriously bad at free throws, and as we found out, putting his face and name behind any company that's willing to pay him a pretty penny. We're taking an inside look at 10 ridiculously expensive things that Shaquille O'Neal owns. Stay tuned until the end of this video to see just how much Shaq spent on his daughter's Sweet 16 party. Alright, let's dribble through this. There's no denying that Shaquille O'Neal is a legend. He was drafted into the NBA in 1992, at the time to play for the Orlando Magic. His most recognizable NBA team, however, was the Los Angeles Lakers, which he joined in 1996. He had a record-breaking career, earning over 28,596 points in regular season games and 5,250 points in the playoffs. He was MVP in 2000 and helped his team beat Yugoslavia for the gold medal win in the 1996 Olympics. Although his time in the NBA was impressive, it appears that Shaq made some of his best plays off the court. In an interview with HBO, Shaq divulged that he has made more money off of advertisements and endorsements than he ever did playing in the NBA. According to Shaq himself, he made $30 million in his best year as a player, which, according to Basketball Reference, amassed him a whopping $292 million during his career. And now, thanks to his numerous business ventures and investments, the diesel is worth over $400 million. Any good investor knows that when it comes to investments, it's important to diversify. Well, Shaq is no stranger to this philosophy. For starters, Shaq owns five franchises of the fast food chain restaurant Five Guys Burgers and Fries, meaning he owns a total of 155 locations. He also owns 40 24-hour fitness gyms and has taken extra care to tailor each fitness facility to his standards and specifications. But he's also taking over the internet. Well, sort of. Although we're not sure how he got in as a Google investor before the company went public, he did exactly that. This was definitely a smart business decision. Before Google went public in 2004, the company's stock traded at $85 per share. As of 2019, one share of Google stock stands at $1,165.93. His other food-related ventures include Fruity Pebbles, Muscle Milk, and Vitamin Water. His investments basically sound like a late-night run to the supermarket. And in the miscellaneous category, Shaq has put his money into 150 car washes, condo development and real estate, and multiple tech startups across the country. Are you writing all of this down? Because it's a lot. Have you ever heard the saying, more money than you know what to do with? That's probably exactly how Shaq felt in 1992, when at 20 years old, he signed a massive endorsement deal with a trading card company, earning him his first cool $1 million. After hearing from his agent that the deal had closed, he felt pretty good about himself, wouldn't you? The unfortunate part of the story is that Shaq failed to consider his agent's 15%, Texas state tax, and the federal property taxes. Shaq, a longtime Mercedes lover, went right to the dealership to buy himself a brand new $150,000 car. When he went home to show his father what he'd bought, his father replied, quote, that's nice, where's mine at, unquote prompting him to buy the same $150,000 Mercedes for his dad. If you're keeping up with the math, Shaq had already spent more than half of what he earned at this point when his mother, after having seen the fancy cars, decided she also wanted one in a smaller make. So Shaquille dropped another $100,000 on his mom. Then, presumably off a shopping high, he went out and bought rings and jewelry to do what millionaires do. After it was all said and done, Shaq had spent $1 million that day. That's also the day he decided to get a business manager, to make sure he never made the same mistake again, and to put him on track to being a heavy hitter in the world of finance and investments. His love of cars definitely didn't end there. Shaq has a massive collection of vehicles. Before we give you the deets on Shaq's collection, here's a figure that will make your head spin. Shaquille O'Neal reportedly spends $23,000 a month on gas alone. That's $276,000 a year. 
Shaq likes to cruise around in an all-black Ford F650 pickup truck. But let me remind you, Shaquille O'Neal is over 7 feet tall, so in order to fit all of that into his car, the car had to undergo over $60,000 of modifications, taking the car from the base price of 60 grand to a whopping $124,125. Jumping to perhaps the most impressive car in Shaq's collection, the basketball legend fully customized his very own Vador Infinity G35, built by Supercraft Custom Crafted Cars. The kit car comes in at an estimated $14,000, but the modifications cost anywhere up to $75,000. It seems like Shaquille is the king of customized cars, and with his 2001 Chevrolet G1500, he took it a whole step further. He installed a booming sound system, iPads and other flat screens, a mini bar, and to top it all off, hardwood flooring. And what better place to keep all your custom cars than an enormous lakeside mansion, complete with a 17-car garage. Actually on the market now to be sold, Shaq has owned this Florida property for the last 26 years. When he bought the home in 1993, it only set him back a little less than $4 million. Before you call us out on making that seem cheap, get a load of how much he's selling it for now. The 12 bedroom, 35,000 square foot house sits on three acres of land and is located in the exclusive Isleworth community. As you might expect from the most famous NBA player of all time, there's a 6,000 square foot indoor basketball court with the words Shaq Center printed on the floor. There's also a showroom full of memorabilia from his time in the NBA. What does a place like this go for, you ask? Well, $22 million. Located in beautiful Bell Canyon, California, a slightly more modest mansion sits perched atop the hillside. Featuring five bedrooms and four and a half baths, the property boasts glossy snow-white porcelain tile floors the spacious property didn't set him back too far though, only 1.815 million to be exact. You've probably gone to do some quick shopping at Walmart, but in all their years of operation, the largest amount of money anyone ever spent on a single purchase was spent by none other than the Diesel himself. Shaquille O'Neal once spent $70,000 at Walmart in a single visit. After being traded from the Miami Heat to the Phoenix Suns back in 2008, Shaq was getting impatient with his brand new apartment because it was yet to be filled with any furniture or toiletries. So he did what so many other Americans do when they need to buy something. He headed to Walmart. When he tried to use his credit card to pay for this massive order, American Express called him immediately, thinking his card must have been stolen. When he informed the credit card company that he was indeed at Walmart, they only had one question. What on earth are you buying? Shaq told Jimmy Kimmel that he likes to show his appreciation for the folks who work in the service industry. So, when he gets seated at a table, the first thing he says is, quote, the quicker I get my order, the bigger your tip will be, end quote. At the end of the meal, once the seven foot one giant is fed, he asks the server, quote, how big do you want your tip to be, end quote. The largest amount a server ever asked for was $4,000, and Shaq, being a man of his word, paid every last penny. So if Shaq ever walks into the restaurant where you work, you're gonna wanna make sure they seat him in your section. Now we all know that Shaq is a generous man, but did you know he's also a very generous father? In an interview with Hot Team, Shaquille O'Neal's son, Sharif O'Neal, takes us on an amazing tour of his multiple shoe closets. Sharif has full floor-to-ceiling shelves packed with expensive sneakers that he wears both on and off the court. One of his favorite pairs from the collection are Nike's Kobe 11 Peach Jams, a shoe with a sweet peach colorway and a $675 price tag. His collection also features three pairs of Jordan Red Ones, a $235 classic shoe, one of which he did little doodles all over. Can you imagine spending $235 on a pair of shoes and then disgracing them with a black Sharpie? A couple of his cheaper shoes include custom Suicide Squad Kyrie's, lots of Jordans, what the Kobe 8s, and OVO 10s. Okay, we're not gonna go on and list every single pair of expensive sneakers that Sharif owns. You get the point, he's got a lot. But when you play basketball as often and as intensely as he does, you need tons of backups for your favorite shoes. We will, however, spotlight one pair from his collection because of its very impressive price tag. Sharif has a pair of OVO 12s that can cost anywhere up to $1,800 a pair. For that price, we'd never want to take them out of the box.
Sharif isn't Shaq's only offspring who's been spoiled off his riches. As a gift to his daughter Amira on her 16th birthday, Shaq gave her what every little girl dreams of, a crazy, over-the-top, whimsical party that cost the Hall of Famer $1 million. Shaq rented out the rooftop of the prestigious and exclusive W Hotel in Los Angeles, California. There was a special performance by top-notch rapper and actor YG, who graced the crowd with eight songs, including his top hits. And to top everything off, at the end of the night, Shaq gifted his daughter Amira a brand new Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon. And just in case you were curious, that's a $134,000 car. This party puts my super sweet 16 to shame. That's all for 10 ridiculous expensive things that Shaquille O'Neal owns. Did anything on this list surprise you? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to join our notification squad, subscribe to our channel, and like this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.